Yo, 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 what is going on, everybody? Today is a very special day because we have a freaking guest. Who's that? Who's that lady boy right there? I can't see it. It's too dark. There it is. It's Pablo Escobar. <laughs> Me and old Julius, we are going fishing on the river, and it's not just fishing, we're going camping. Dad's already out there. He's getting bait. He did not succeed. We got the new bait freezer, so uh, ignore the rattlesnake. Let's just let's grab some bait real quick. Those look good. Mm. Okay, that, that is frozen to it. That's cool. Um, what else we got? There's a little shad. Bait cooler is full. Let me wash my hands real quick. Like I said, tonight we are sleeping on the boat, so we got all our stuff in the truck. The old rig out there. Oh, I got a smudge. Got a smudge on the... <sighs> Perfect. Dad also said he's gonna need more food. So there we go, tackle box. Get this truck warmed up. You, you ready? A, you even drive a diesel, bro? Yeah, I drive a diesel, bro. Are you, diesel. you ready to go catch some big fish? I guess so. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's hit the road and uh, go catch some monster fish. We gotta go meet up with Dad at the pier. Julius, what are you thinking? 12 orders of number nine, which is 24 cheeseburgers. 24 cheeseburgers. I'm thinking to see buy one get one free. Yep. Let's get McDoubles and eight McChickens. Bingo. Bingo is the like gingo. It. We're trying to figure out how we're not going to starve tonight, considering we didn't eat lunch or dinner yet. So I mean, I I'm thinking like it's buy one get one free. 16 McChickens and 16 McDoubles. We'll be sitting pretty solid. Julius, you think we got enough burgers, my guy? Probably not. I, I, I think, yep, I, I think that's full. Cool. Always dead ass like 10 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> 10 pounds of burgers. Hopefully that'll get us through the night. You know, we're really trying to rough it on this camping trip. It's not the Chick-fil-A sandwiches we're after, but you know, it'll it'll do. Don't you love dirt roads, Julius? Love them. That's the best thing on the planet. Oh, oh, like the truck's just shaking. Two miles long, yep. Mm -hmm. Nothing better. Yep. It's a, it's a rally car, you know, right? Hey, Captain Price. That thing's squeaking. I know. It's the, the going 50 down this road. I didn't like it. Yeah, I bet not. Uh, you think you can park between them too? So we are down here on the water, boys. We got to load up a lot of stuff into the boat. Let's just show you guys the boat real quick. That is going to be home tonight. We're going to be sleeping in it, son. Have you caught any catfish yet? I ain't fished. Ain't fished? What you been doing, scouting? Looking at the depth finder. The depth finder. Oh, Julius. Thanks for the glasses. Oh, my phone too. Uh, let's that. start grabbing stuff and loading up. Oh, let's get the survival bag. <laughs> go throw her in the boat. You ready to go catch them, Sunshine? State record tonight? Nah. Nah? I ain't, I ain't gonna show you that spot. You ain't gonna show me that spot. That's it, huh? Well, let's do it. Let's get on the boat. You ready? Oh, yeah. You excited, dog? Oh, yeah. I feel like I'm gonna walk, in, walk, in, walk off the pier filming you. Pop up in here, boys. This is home, the big old John boat right here, son. What you thinking? I'm thinking it's gonna be one of I call this chair to sleep. Julius, you can have that spot right there. <laughs> you find any good spots while you're scouting? I'm uh, just marking my waypoints for that new depth finder. Oh, you didn't even scout for us? We're gonna start fishing in the blind again? Lord help us. There was some good 30s and 40s caught out of here last night, so uh, we'll give it a shot, run to all our spots, and uh, you know, if we're staying the night out on the boat, we should be able to smack them. Night fishing for catfish is just always better. The flow! The flow! <laughs> we're cooking now, boys. Headed to the first spot. First fishing spot of the night, or of the day. It's gonna be a lot of them, I'll tell you that. We're gonna bump them up. We got fish right out here, boys. We're gonna see if we can't bump them up. This water is muddy tonight. You ready to catch a 50 pounder? Oh yeah. Let's go up up deep. Now actually the last big 40 I caught came from this drain right here. Right there, you guys see it? We anchored up right about here and threw the rods out right through here. A lot of fish like this area. Probably gonna go ahead and anchor up here and fish this for a little bit. They'll swim. Don't try to hold on to it, it'll rip your hand off. Setting up at the first spot, boys. Well, boys, we are anchored up at the first spot of the day. You ready to catch some big cats? Yeah, I'm wet. You're wet already from dropping the anchor? Oh, we got those big shad, boys. What'd you say? The soldiers fixing to go to war. Getting all the rods ready, about to start casting them, boys. Heads up. Damn, Dad. <laughs> Holy sh 
<laughs> Your new fish finder. Yo, this thing's wicked. Can, can you watch TV on that? That thing will tell you if the fish is sick or Do pregnant. what? That'll tell you if the fish has got cancer or if it's pregnant. Got coronavirus. <laughs> Dad's all excited about his new Garmin fish finder, y'all. Done built up a nice custom bracket for it. So far, he's loving this thing. Got all my hazards and waypoints and all put back in it. Yeah. We'll give the spot here about 30 minutes and uh, see if we can't produce any fish. Oh, yeah. Now, this is what I call fishing. Oh, yes, sir. One side drill just keeps getting hit. Thought it was him at first, but you've bumped it a couple times, but it just got a little tap on it. That wasn't you. New spot, boys. Do what we can get into. Well, boys, the sun is about to go down, and hopefully we're going to start getting into some fish when the sun goes down. We've only fished two spots so far and uh, haven't had much of any luck, but when the sun goes down, the monsters come out, so that's that's going to be good. Julius over here, try, you trying to get your phone to charge? Yeah. Will it not charge? Nope. It won't. Oh, did he get it? We got something. Uh -oh. yep, we got oh, something. oh, there you go. Don't move it. Don't move it. Look how beautiful that is. Would you just would you just look at it? Just 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 look at it. This is beautiful. 328 AM. Got a fish on boys. I was just saying where are the fish? I was getting pissed. We've been we've been fishing for so long. Uh, I think he's tangled up in this line. Did he come off? No, he's still there. He ain't very big or that much. Yeah, he's wore out. This might be a good fish. Yeah, he's still pulling drag. There he is. Yeah, you got it. He was in that line a little bit. I can't see where this fish is at. Yeah, he's left. Yeah, oh, he's... oh. Do we got? Is he hung up on that line? I don't know, but I feel like. Is Hold that up. a fish? Yeah, we got the same. Fish. We got the same fish. That might be why I was getting hard to drag. Is that a blue? I can't tell. Looks like one. What is he? Thirty. Oh, you got him. Damn. Oh, he ain't the biggest, but uh, he's bigger than what we've been catching. My glasses. I don't want to cut this. Oh. First fish of the night, boys. There we go. What's it looking like on camera? Pretty good. Look at that. I'm saying about 26, 27. We'll get a scale on them and see. Twenty-five pounds, boys. A little twenty-five pounder. There's number one, boys. Let's go. Julius is up next, so uh, hopefully it won't be a little 25. Hopefully we can get a, a 40 on. I'm hoping we'll catch a couple 40s tonight. That's kind of the main goal. We got to turn this light off because you guys can't tell. There's bugs swarming in on us. So, uh, yeah, first fish, y'all. Turn it off. Turn it off. Turn it off. Where's the bud? It is so bad, all the bugs. One hour later. Where'd Julius go? <laughs> Do you want a fish? He's on this rod right here. Okay, he's pulling drag. Come on, son. Look at him. There you go, son. He woke us all up, except Julius. <laughs> Time check, y'all. 4.19 in the morning. Is he pulling like a big fish? Yeah, he didn't take much drag. Is he getting heavier? Seen him there for a second. We got woke up by that dude. There's another one, boys. No wonder he didn't bend the rod all the way over. He hit it and it woke me up, man. I've seen him hit it again. Oh, there we go. Let's try not to get the sleeping bag wet. I was just falling asleep, bro. You've been to sleep for like six hours now. I was just yeah. finally going to sleep. And then he shows up. He'd make a good filet. Yeah. Put him on the stringer. We might take him home tomorrow. Go cook him for breakfast. Guys, when I say it's been a slow night, I mean slow. Yeah, a slow night. I mean, that's two fish. It's It's been all night. We've gotten two fish. This is a little ridiculous, but oh well. Camera's fogging up, so I'm going to turn you guys off, and I'm going to put this fish on the stringer and go back to sleep. Brandon! Yo, yo, yo! What up? What is up, ladies and gentlemen? We have made it back to the house. So, you guys are probably wondering, Brady, my guy, what are you doing? And I'm going to try my best not to get fishy. Now, originally... We were just gonna go and catch a bunch of big catfish and make a sick YouTube video. We didn't catch a bunch of catfish and we did not make a sick YouTube video. So today, we are cleaning one of the fish because we gotta turn this thing into a catch and cook. It wasn't supposed to be a catch and cook, but then in the morning I was like, you know what, screw it. Catch and cook time. Miller, can you help me? <laughs> What's wrong, buddy? I can't get my glove on. You got it? 
No. You're gonna get fishy. I'm gonna try not to get fishy. Take the jacket off so the jacket don't get covered in fish glue. Fish, fish glue? Fish glue, goo, chew, do, ba do. Nice gloves. I know, thank you. So what we have in the cooler is that's, uh. That's a fish. One slimy catfish. Now, here's like, I don't know, maybe 10, more than 10, maybe a 15 pounder. Kind of a little big on the eating side. We did catch 125 and then this dude in the middle of the night, it was terrible fishing. But I was like, you know what? This fish, he woke me up as soon as I was falling asleep. So we're gonna cut him and we're gonna eat him. Payback, right? Payback. The beach. So, uh, what do you do? You start cutting. He's so slick, dude. He's gonna be freaking going all over this thing. <laughs> well, that ain't right. Maybe it goes this way? Yeah, it goes that way. I got this thing for Christmas and I'm so excited to finally use it. Is it actually cutting good? Yeah. So, you're gonna make the first cut here. There's a little bit more meat up here, but I'm not too worried about it. This thing's gonna have plenty of meat on them. We're gonna try to run it down his spine. There it is. Look at that. This thing hopped oh, too. What? You cut we, the wrong side of the spine? It hopped over the other side of the spine. Ooh. Run this puppy down like this. Yeah, we were definitely on the wrong side. Clean. Yeah, we lost a lot of meat. Oh, yeah? Yeah, first time using this knife. It's not a fillet knife. You can't feel what you're doing. It's hard to feel the bones, my guy. I gotta get used to this thing because this thing's gonna be real handy. Well. There's one poorly done filet, but look at how much meat came off this little catfish. I do not understand. These people keeping these 40 pound catfish piss me off. Even a 25, that is so much freaking meat. It's ridiculous. You know what this is gonna be, right? Some great- Hey, we didn't do too bad. We missed a little bit, but we didn't miss too much meat. That was actually not bad. So okay. we're gonna have to back up the bass nuggets with some catfish nuggets? Yeah, I think we're gonna have to do some catfish nuggets. Honestly, if I really wanted to keep a, all the meat and make sure I didn't miss anything, pulling a hail knife would be the trick. Wait, my fingers are about to fall off. He's so cold. Is he cold? Yes. And there's filet number two. And this is a catfish carcass. Yeah. A lot of meat off that bad mamma jamma. Let's go ahead and throw this out of here. Now, obviously, we've got all this skin on here. Best way to get that off, as everybody should. I already know, lay them on a flat surface. These fillets are huge. We're gonna have a 40 nugget platter by the end of this. <laughs> Dude, we're gonna have so much fish. <laughs> and this right here is pure fillet. Yep, that's, that's a pretty good size fillet right there, boys. Skin, bye bye. <laughs> Let's do this side real quick. Go down with the fork. Two big catfish fillets. Let's go ahead and try to save some of this meat. Perfect. All right, now we're just gonna go ahead and bag them. We're gonna take these puppies inside, get them washed up, and then we're gonna cook these bad boys. Probably tomorrow evening. We're gonna have Julius come over. We're gonna cook them up. Catfish nuggets. Catfish nuggets. That's gonna be it. So guys, yep. stay tuned. Coming right now.